Hi everyone, so I thought I would sit down and give a quick life update, a quick summer check-in because it's now June and I haven't vlogged since April. My last video was potentially my last ever exam season, still don't know on that one, I'm still waiting on exam results but stuff has happened since April that I thought I should catch you guys up on. The biggest news, which is probably in the title of this video, is I'm now an associate of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. Yay! Woo! Fireworks! Celebrations! Party poppers! This is a checkpoint qualification that I was actually rejected from earlier this year. I won't go into the details now because I've already done that in a previous video on my channel, but essentially we made it through the rejection out the other side. I completed the stage two professionalism course, which was a few online discussion forums showing that I have ethical values and that I embody the actuary's code. I passed that course and then resubmitted my application. There were several weeks of admin processing time, but then I finally got an email from the IFOA confirming my transfer to associate with a little congratulations. And what does it actually mean? A lot of you might be wondering. Well, it means I can put the letters AIA after my name. I'm page Y. AIA. And more importantly, it means the clock has started for the mandatory 12 months that I must spend as an associate before I can apply to be a fellow, which is the true actuarial qualification that I am seeking. It doesn't mean much else other than that, but I'm just really happy that it's a step in the right direction, a step towards my goal. In other news, I went to my second ever conference. It was the same one I went to last year, run by the Insurance and Reinsurance Legacy Association. But this time I stayed in a hotel rather than at my parents' house. And I felt like I was on a proper business trip. I loved the hotel breakfast. I was dressing up in my best corporate gear I was making small talk with people going to client meetings and seeing potential clients going to lots of the talks and trying to absorb information and generally just feeling a lot more confident than I did this time last year I won't lie I was definitely nervous about attending the conference this year still I was filled with quite a lot of dread the weekend before I am a little bit of an introvert I do still have quite a lot of shyness at the core of me but I'm really proud of myself for pushing through and it was actually, dare I say it, enjoyable this year. I've also recently attended the wedding of a couple of my peers from Jesus College. I think they are the first two people who were both in my cohort at Jesus to get married. There's a few other relationships from the year group, but these are the first two to tie the knot and it was really cute and really wholesome to watch saw lots of other people from university, some of whom I don't see that frequently. So it was really nice to catch up. There was lots of dancing and it just felt like a very grown up occasion. I was like, wow, we're not university students anymore. This isn't college marriage. College marriage is so 2017. This is real life marriage. So congratulations to the happy couple and thank you for inviting me to your day. I'm sorry, by the way, if the lighting keeps changing, the sun keeps going in and out and it's a little bit outside of my control. I have just got back from Portugal this week. I went on a holiday with seven university friends, a lot of the usual crew who you would have seen in the vlogs. We got an Airbnb villa with a pool and just played lots of games, went surfing, went to a water park. I drank Sumal again for the first time in years. It's a fizzy orange drink in Portugal. You've got to try it if you haven't before. I love it. My camera battery just ran out of charge. So sorry for any change in angle there. We also got friendship bracelets. A little close up for you there. We all got these twisty design bracelets in different colors from a market store in Albufeira. We did not go out clubbing on the Albufeira strip. Well, actually a few people in the group did, but not, not properly. We were not there for a party holiday, just putting it out there. I know a lot of young people are into that thing, but my group of friends is uh, a little more into board games and life-size Mario Party. And it was just nice to switch off from work. I didn't check my email for the whole time I was away, which kind of was a mistake because I ended up getting locked out of my account because I got multiple password expiry warning emails and I missed them all while I was on holiday. So I did have to call IT being like, help, let me into my account. I did find out though on my first day back at work this week that my secondment has been extended. 
I guess I should be quite flattered. It means that they like me and want me to continue doing work at my secondment company. A secondment basically means my primary main employer has seconded me to another company where I act as if I'm an employee of the secondment company, but I am still technically employed by my consultancy employer. They still pay my salary, do all of the HR that comes with having an employee. But I'm off at my secondment company half the time, going into their offices. So I've been going into London a fair bit and working with new people, doing something that's new and not what I was doing last year. My exam results are actually being released in less than two weeks time now. Coincidentally, results day is on general election day in the UK. So it's gonna be a big day, lots happening going to be going to the polling station and opening my exam results. Don't know which one I'm going to do first, but I am really looking forward to having my results just so I can plan for the next six months. Studying is a huge time commitment, so I'm in a bit of limbo not knowing whether I need to study and retake exams in September or not. And of course, I will let you guys know when I get my results, I will film a reaction video and put it up in this channel as soon as possible after receiving my results. This is a big results day. It's probably my biggest results day in a while, potentially since university results day. So let's keep our fingers and toes crossed that it's gonna go well. I do plan to film some more videos in the next few weeks and months, hopefully some more vlogs. I haven't vlogged in a little while and I've been missing it as well as a walkthrough of some of my actuarial exams. I thought it would be interesting to show you guys the actual papers that I am sitting to give you more of an idea of what being an actuary actually entails. That's the update. Please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my other socials. I will link them in description and I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.